Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is the Tech Wi-Fi Clinic. Here on our decks, we have um, a Conlog PP Metal Remote that is having an issue. We were able to get uh, some history from the customer. So he said um, it was water damage that is a new tenant in that uh, house that the tenant that moved out was the one that was using the conlog the metal remote so according to what he was saying to cut the story short he said the area there is always flooded with uh, erosion so that was what spoiled the conlog the metal remote so we'll be doing a kind of opening but if you know you are not a technician please don't try this don't try this so um the video will be showing how to fix a water damage uh, conlog remote like i said if you are not a gadget technician don't try this so let's move you guys to the process Yeah, it has, I don't know what happened, it has disconnected from this place. Okay, what will happen is, I'll be using my power supply to, we have, um, I think this is, we have 1.5 volts and 1.5 volts. So, if we add 1.5 volts plus 1.5 volts, that should give us 3 volts. So, we are going to set our power supply to 3 volts and check because since this are wire is disconnected let me check so I have to check I have to check you can see I'm tuning my power supply I'm tuning my power supply to 3 volts can you see I'm tuning it because it was on 4 volts so now my voltage now I've um, tuned it to 3 volts so that I'll be able to use it to power up this stuff if it's going to run. So that's the first thing because I noticed this the there is a kind of disconnection on the wire here, you can see. So let me do a kind of connection black on black. Black on black, white, red on red. It's connected. You can see it's connected. It's connected, but it's supposed to come up automatically. It's supposed to be on automatically, but it's not coming up. You can see it's not coming up. There's no sign of power. So let me disconnect. Using my conlog remote. You can see as it is, um, we've um, disassembled the conlog remote. So, um, guys, um, if you are new to this channel, um, don't forget to like if this video is helpful. So, and don't forget to subscribe if you are done watching or you are watching right now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, um, on the prepare metal remote, there's a track that is being broken. I don't know if you can see. So, we'll have to, um, lose the screw that is holding the bolt so that i'll be able to service it because since it is water damage um problem that is having so the tracks that is on the board is being damaged by water so it has corroded so the connection is not going away although i will show you guys um the broken tracks under the microscope
so we we notice there are some scratches on the board that's that means they've given it to some some technician to fix and uh, maybe they were unable to fix it but there are some scratches on the board which is not supposed to be so and we notice there are some corrosion on the keypad so before we start fixing the um the um the tracks that is being broken so we have to service the keypad also so the f the first thing that we are going to do we are going to disconnect the battery cable that's the first thing we have to do we'll disconnect the battery cable before we start servicing then before we start using chemical the screen have to go off so the screen is off So what we have to do now is we are disconnecting the battery cable. So since there is no indication that there is positive and negative, that's positive and negative. So we've indicated by ourselves so that they will not be mix mix up when connecting it back. So the second thing is the cable that is being disconnected from the beginning. So we are going to solder it back to its place as the battery connector so we are going to solder it back to its place So at this junction, we are done with the with the um, soldering of the battery connector. So we are applying necessary chemical to clean up the board since the board is cold. So we'll be using two kind of chemical to do the clean up so that those corrosion will go off. And there are some stubborn corrosion that is there that normal chemical cannot wipe off so that's why i'm using blade to scrape those corrosion out of the key part can see we we are still doing the cleaning the cleaning is thorough because we don't want any um, corrosion to still be on the board as we are taking our time to do the necessary cleaning since there is no um, any component to the place and none of the components is damaged just that there's corrosion on those components and on the board so um 
before I take you to the microscope, before we start fixing the broken trucks. So, let me um, switch to the microscope so you can fix the broken tracks. So now look at, you can see there's a kind of breakage and this connection here. There's a kind of breakage, so I will, then this is a kind of corrosion, so I'll need to resolve that place. That will be a kind of. So, um, 
in this process um we'll be doing the coupling but before the coupling i'm going to add some heat resistant tape on that spot that we did the soldering so we are going to add our heat resistant tape to cover where we did our workings so um guys if you've not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to like don't forget guys that this is the tech on my front clinic Watch is down. This is working. So guys, um I done with the water damage prepaid meter. You can see it it's working. So um if you've not subscribed, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the type of my phone clinic.